Music is everywhere, whether it's the music of the Beastie Boys, the Beatles or Johann Sebastian Bach. The question is, why? Psychologist Steven Pinker says the answer is pleasure. Music is not essential to human beings, it's simply fun. But there are a number of evolutionary theorists who argue the exact opposite. They claim that music is one of the reasons we have survived. In his TED talk, A Darwinian Theory of Beauty, Dennis Dutton argues that our ancestors created beautiful art, music included, as a way of captivating sexual partners, in the way that the peacock uses its colorful tail to attract mates. A flashy paleolithic bone flute solo or a virtuosic bit of stone hitting indicated to members of the opposite sex that hooking up would be one long roller coaster of love and reproduction. In evolutionary terms, this would mean that there was something about being able to make music that gave those people with the music making gene an evolutionary advantage over those without the music making gene. Music meant a longer life and more kids. But how? Why music? There are a number of theories, but one of the most convincing is where it's about safety in numbers, music brings and holds us together. If you want to unify a group quickly, get them singing a song. It's all about the beat and the bass. When smouldering jealousies and internal rivalries split up the baboon troop down the road, our ancestors sat down and sang a jolly song and we all lived happily ever after. But did we? For me, there is something that seems incomplete about this theory. I don't play the violin to attract sexual partners. Violin playing just isn't a chick magnet. In fact, if my slightly nerdy high school days are anything to go by, it's pretty much the opposite. Perhaps music started out as an evolutionary adaption, but at some point, it seems we stop simply seeing music as a tool for the continuation of our DNA and started being interested in it for itself. We started looking at what was really going on in the music and how the voices kind of interacted with each other. What do I mean? Well, let's take the music I was playing at the beginning, Fugue in G minor, by the 18th century composer Johann Sebastian Bach. So this might sound at first like a jumble of notes, but if you listen carefully, you begin to hear that what it really is is a series of call and responses between four different voices. Here's the first voice's call. That simple fragment of melody is then repeated by the second voice who answers the first voice. So it sounds a bit like this. First voice, and then second voice. But of course the first voice can't keep its mouth shut, it has to throw in a few notes of its own. So it sounds... Then the third voice comes in with exactly the same tune that the first voice played at the beginning, but it comes in with it higher this time, so here it is. And of course, the other two voices, voices one and two, also have to throw in their notes or their commentary against the third voice. So, And finally, the fourth voice comes in with the exact uh, tune that the first voice played at the same pitch. And the other three voices throw in their interjections, propelling the music to a moment of release and a single stream of sound. And so on. So the whole interaction between the four voices sounds like this. So first voice. Second voice. 
Bad Boy. Fourth Boy. So Bach bases his whole six minute fugue around this single call. What is interesting is how the voices respond to the call, how they mix it up, turn it on its head, find new and challenging ways of responding. Our focus shifts from what the music does for us to the drama happening between its sounds. And for some reason, this drama interests us. As Remy, the rat from the film Ratatouille, wisely points out, what makes human beings different from animals is they don't just survive, they discover and create. New sounds, new rhythms, new tastes, just for the hell of it. Just because to create those sounds, to play one tune against another, sounds cool and interesting. And when we hear things that sound cool and interesting, we feel cool and interesting. We feel alive. So, next time you plug in your iPod, hum a song or pull out your guitar, ask yourself this, why am I doing this? Is it in order to survive? Or is it the reason why I survive? Is this what makes my life worth living? <laughs>